A Visalia man will now spend the rest of his life behind bars for having sex with someone under the age of 14. A Tulare County judge sentenced 64-year-old Larry Soule to 200 years in prison. He was found guilty of having sex with a child between 2013 and 2015. This is not his first time in jail. He'd been there twice before. He was previously found guilty of hitting someone with a gun in a robbery. Hurricane Harvey is rapidly becoming more powerful as it continues toward the Gulf Coast. Harvey is now a Category 2 hurricane, and forecasters say it will be a Category 3 by the time it hits the middle Texas coast, and that's expected to be either late tonight or early tomorrow morning. Google also announced a new smart camera called Google Clips. The company says users simply set the camera down wherever, and then the camera automatically learns the faces of friends and family and just starts randomly snapping pictures of them at different random intervals. Creepy! He says police were there in minutes telling people to move. Then he says the man drove from the bridge onto the front yard of the parliamentary compound. A witness there says he saw the man walk right by him holding a seven or eight inch knife and just plunged it into the officer over and over again. We now know that officer died. Police then shot that man two or three times as he tried to storm into the House of Commons. And now we know that attacker was killed. Police, though, are still trying to verify if he acted alone. People are signing this banner. We stand with Texas. The thoughts and prayers of the people of California's Central Valley are with you. And they're sharing, uh, you know, heartfelt uh, thoughts here. Stay strong, Texas. Sending uh, lots of positive thoughts and love your way. God bless from Courtney. Uh, this one is a quote from uh, Corinthians. Uh, you are not alone. God is walking with you. Man, it's so touching. What can we do? It feels like this is nothing compared to what they really need. Okay, so share your thoughts and then the real need comes in with the Salvation Army. And Major Abelia is here to let us know how we can help and how we know that they will get our hard-earned money that we're donating. What do you know about alpacas? They're the animals that look like a llama and they have really soft fur. Wendy Lane is in North Fork <laughs> this morning learning... With a all, new hat. With a new hat. Learning all, <laughs> all about these long-naked creatures. No, necked. Make, long no, necked. No, oh, excuse me. <laughs> Clovis police are asking for your help today to find two people who they say used a gun to rob an elementary school janitor at that elementary school during a school dance. Police say it happened in the Miramani Elementary School parking lot. This was Friday night during a family dance. Officers say two people walked up to the driver's side window of the truck, told the man to give him everything. Police say the janitor did. He held over, gave over his cell phone, and then the thieves ran off. Now, police say they ended the dance about 30 minutes early so they could look for these thieves, but they're not found yet. If you have any information about this robbery, you and look at this, see if there is any way, even though it is kind of blurry, if there is any way that this person looks familiar to you. And if so, please call Clovis Police or you can call Crime Stoppers at 498 STOP. And remember, when you do call that line, you can always remain anonymous. It's a novel, so stay right there. It's 806, still ahead here on Great Day. You may not have to fight crowds the next time you want to shop at Costco. Of course, you would miss all of the free food with she loves. Yes. Uh, when the warehouse store could soon deliver. You are needed to catch a suspected thief who did something really brazen this week. He broke into a home near Shields and Maple, walked right past the homeowner who was in a wheelchair, helpless, to stop the thief. Deputies say the crook took a bunch of money and a gun and then left in a white car that has a dent on the hood. If you know who this man is, wearing a crook's t-shirt, you are asked to call Crime Stoppers at 498-STOP. Again, that number is 498-7867. Hello, good morning, everybody. I'm Kim Stevens with Fox 26. I am looking for your teacher, Mrs. Galvin. Do you know where she is? 
There she is. This is Mrs. Galvin's third grade class here. You have this frightened look on her face. You <laughs> okay, so we are here to say congratulations because you have earned a $1,000 grant to use in this classroom. I love it, I'm so excited. <laughs> what are you planning on using the $1,000 for? Okay, so if you notice, we have a few things around where what we're doing right now is the kids have flexible seating. Mm -hmm. So when we have centers, they can choose to sit wherever they would like in a comfortable way okay. so that they can focus on their learning. And so now it's um, we get to have more options because we only have a few around here. <laughs> Fox 26 would not be able to do this without a partnership with more furniture for less. So uh, Mr. Singh is here with the biggest check ever. Why uh, get involved more furniture with Fox 26 on this? Well, we at More Furniture are very firm believers of supporting and giving back to the community that we are a part of especially to these teachers that are very hardworking and dedicated to their students. Well, thank you very much again for this partnership because we wouldn't be able to do it. So remember, teachers out there, if you are inspired to do this, go to Fox 26 and fill out the application. It is part of our effort to enrich our community one classroom at a time. Investigators also say Paddock may have been looking into hotels near Fenway Park in Boston, but it is not clear if he ever traveled to Massachusetts. Police are now saying Paddock carried his arsenal into the hotel in 10 suitcases, but kept another large lethal cash in his car in the parking lot. They say this news is leading them to ask the question, did Stephen Paddock act alone? Still ahead here on Great Day, it is smooth and luxurious. Turns out I'm wearing it today. Who knew I was such a trendsetter? Well, it's making a comeback. Velvet, popular again.